Hey, what's up, family? Hey, today we're going to do another video for you. And this is going to be another educational video, health-wise and educational. And we're going to title this one, Anaphylactic Shock. Now, a lot of y'all know what that means. Some of you don't, or some may understand the severity of it or not. But today we're going to explain it in more detail and to make you uh, understand it in a way from our personal experiences and stories where you could be like, wow, it's stick. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that's also going to be the word of the day, anaphylactic shock. And if we look up the word, my daughter asked you, what does anaphylactic shock mean? When your body goes in anaphylactic shock, your blood pressure suddenly drops and your airways narrow, possibly blocking <laughs> normal Block, breathing. Yeah, it blocks your normal breathing um, sometimes. This Which, condition can um can be dangerous. Yeah, um, be if very it dangerous isn't to treated some. immediately, it can result into serious complications and even fatal. Exactly. Good point. Hi, You're right. The, the, everything she just said, it it, it blocks some people. Na uh, it narrows their breathing, their airways. And you know, you hear some people they're like, <laughs> you know, really it messes up their breathing, and it can be fatal. Uh, so anaphylactic shock, I remember the first couple of times I seen an experience of bee sting and I didn't understand it. You know, a lot of us from movies, we get scared of bees, bees and all this type of stuff. But I'm going to give you two personal stories of mine dealing with uh, a, a mild case of anaphylactic shock. Now, this goes out to my buddy Lee. Unfortunately, real good friend of mine, Lee Ingram, he has passed away. But my buddy Eric got there. That's his brother. He didn't know what I'm talking about. I remember when we was kids, I'm going to say about sixth grade. I remember I went to go swimming on this particular day. Now, you got to remember, with this story, I was a young adolescent, always joking, clowning, cracking jokes with each other and all that. This is how it was growing up. But anyway, I remember on this particular day, I went to go swimming. And I, I went to go swimming. I walked into the Anna Street um, pool area, and I seen my boy Lee and his brother Eric online to go swimming. And as I approached him, all of a sudden, he like, he like turned to the side. Why he was talking to me. And I was like, why this guy acting strange? And I was like, yo, what's up, man? Yo, we're not going swimming too? And he's like, yeah, man, we love to go swimming, man. And, and then when I kind of got on this side, he, he went more like this. And I was like, well, yo, what's, yo, why you acting weird? And then all of a sudden, he took his towel and he put it above his head. And he's all like, nah, man, you know, you know, just, you know, we about to go in. We just got to get checked in before we go in. And then right away, being a kid, I said, Yo, man, what's up with them tight-ass shorts you got on? Them booty choker shorts. <laughs> and he's like, yo, man, you always cracking, man. You always joking jokes. So he took his towel off his head to cover up his, his shorts. But when he did that, he kind of turned to the side. And I seen his ear. Yo, I swear I'm not making this up. Lee's ear was like the size of his head. Wow, his ear crazy. was like, it was like this big. But why and, even bother going to the pool like that? That's I don't crazy. know, but see, he didn't know. I didn't know. He he just knew he went through a mild case of anaphylactic shock, but we didn't know it was called that. Yeah. So when I seen his ear, being an adolescent kid that I was, I, I was like, long. I said, damn! <laughs> Yo, what's up with your ear? Like, but don't see, that's, not, that's not right, babe, because you're already feeling bad about <laughs> he it. Was. So you're older, Jordan. I remember he was so that's mad at me. He was like, see, man, that's why I ain't want to come swimming. Right. You know, because exactly. this all he know how to do, always cracking <laughs> jokes. Man, he get on my nerves, right? And oh, I was, so he was moving to the side so he wouldn't. Yeah, he didn't want me to see oh. it. But when I see yo, I swear it was the most craziest thing. I didn't know somebody, because like you said, anaphylactic shock, your, your blood pressure drops and your, your airway narrows. It, it, met, it's, it messes up your blood flow. Mm -hmm. And 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 his his mild case of anaphylactic shock, his ear is swelled up damn near the size of his head. Wow, that's and crazy. so when I see him, I was like, damn! <laughs> <laughs> that's how silly we was back then. And he was mad at me, man. He was like, this guy always cracking jokes, man. <laughs> I think they left that day or whatever. I don't know if they swam or not, but he was mad at me. And, and I was just being a kid. But, with that being said, how ironic. Some, believe, some people believe in karma, others don't. Some people just think it's a coincidence. But I'm going to tell you a coincidence that happened to me. I'm making fun of Lee, not understanding the severity of his mild case of anaphylactic shock. Because obviously it didn't kill him, but he had a mild case where it swelled him up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was a medical condition that he had an allergic reaction to a bee sting. Who would have thought bees could be so dangerous to some people, although they're so helpful to the whole world? 
You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> here's a case of, if you want to call it coincidence or karma. It was about a week later. Me and some friends of mine was collecting cans like little kids do. We trying to find a way to make some money. So we was collecting cans and we, I mean, we hopped over this fence and we crossed through this field. And as we crossed through this field, I remember one of the other kids we was with, they was like, yo, watch out, a beehive. Joe was always telling you something at the last minute, just as <laughs> my boy stepped on it. And I, we was right next to each other. Soon as we stepped on it, all you heard was, it was like, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to put. Wu-Tang, it was like that. So now, all these bees just sort of smothered us. Yo, I got stung from head to toe. And you didn't have no side effects? I didn't have no side effects. Mm -hmm. So obviously, Lucky I don't have a reaction to bee stings. That's why I say everybody's body's different. True. But I, but it, it wasn't, it was painful. It was, I just didn't have an allergic reaction. But although it's painful as it was, you gotta remember, I was a young adolescent kid. Everything's a joke to me. So when we was running, only reason it didn't hurt as much even though it did hurt, was when I looked back at my buddy, it was one of the twins, Jason Mason, I don't remember which one it was, but whichever one it was, yo, when he was getting stung, he fell. <laughs> and when he fell, I'm gone. And I look back, and he fell. He's like, yo, somebody help me. And I was like, ah! Wow. I'm cracking up laughing, and this joker getting stung up, and I'm out. And then when he finally got to his feet, he sprained his ankle. <laughs> and Dang, now, now he was dope. trying to run. He's like, "Get the bees off me!" <laughs> and I was just cracking up, laughing, because I was like, "Yo, this so got stuff." Wow, that's but crazy. so, like I said, the, the the reason I mentioned that story because what a coincidence! I was laughing at my boy Lee, mm -hmm. rest in peace, Lee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real good friend of mine, but part of being a kid and growing up, uh, laughing at him, and then look what happened to me. I got stung by a whole beehive. Mm -hmm. So that might have been karma. But one other thing I would add to that is that. I remember uh, years later, I watched that movie by Macaulay Culkin. Uh, well, I think it was called My Girl. And I had no idea. In the movie, Macaulay Culkin got, him and his friend was hanging out with the girl, and they got stung by bees. And when he got stung by a bee, they had to rush to the hospital because he went into uh, ana anaphylactic shock. Yeah, he went into anaphylactic shock. And, you know, his breathing stopped. They closed his airway up and all. They had to rush to the hospital. And he died in the movie. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I remember the first time I seen that movie, I was like, what? How's somebody going to die from a bee sting? Mm. But I didn't understand what anaphylactic shock was at the time. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, But when I seen that movie, it made me look into it at the time. I was like, wow, I didn't know somebody could die from a bee sting? You know what I mean? Times I got stung? Damn, I must have died a thousand times. See, I never got stung, so I don't know if I have an allergic reaction on it. See? But That's see... Now, that's funny you say that. That's like what you asked me about when people drive in the car or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, should I be, <laughs> be afraid that a bee will be stinging me? Like, such as if I was in a car seat. Because me, I'll react. I'll freaking crash if a bee is See? in the car. And, and I'm glad yeah, she said that scary. because that happens a lot. And a lot of oh, y'all out there know how that is. Y'all been through that. You might be driving a car and a bee come to your window. And y'all freak out. Y'all like, ah! Why? Wow, because <laughs> you hear a is that it freaks you out? But you know, I'm gonna tell you what that freak out is. That freak out is nothing more than all the movies you watch. Because I'm gonna tell you, that bee ain't worried about your goofy butt. That bee ain't worried about your goofy no, butt. No, I'm convinced it is. See, it's the movies that got you thinking that. No, way. it's literally in my face. All right, but let you me, know what? Let me, okay. but, but, I, but I'm sorry to interrupt you. But see, now that you talk about the um, movies, the, no, oh. the word anaphylactic. Um, anaphylactic. I'm gonna tell you one. A lot of people are allergic to sea. A lot of people are allergic to seafood. Oh. For example, the, the that movie Hitch. Oh, well, Will, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah. I know what you're talking. Will about. Smith had eaten some of the seafood. The seafood. And yeah, he had an allergic, allergic reaction, reaction, which caused an anaphylactic shock. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Yeah. So it's not only bees. It's you're all right. actually some other yeah. ways. Yeah, because in the movie yeah. Hitch. He ate the seafood, and then that's when the girl, Eva Mendez, I think, she was like, she said, like, what's wrong with you? And he was like, what you talking about? And then his eyes swelled up, his lips swelled up, and he looked in the mirror, and he was like, oh, man, I got a learn from Oh, I got, I got you another good movie that I love. The yeah. Nutty Professor, remember when he was good at one. the... Good one. He's at the club and yes. he just got what Jada Pinkett out. When he was at the club, yeah, and then, then, he had kissed her, up. right? Mm -hmm. And then she was and like, what, what, you remember? Lip. Yeah, it's like your lip. 
Yeah, he's like, what's up, bro? Oh, and he seen his lip. Like your lip. And then he, he's like, oh, uh, oh, oh, he, because you know Eddie Murphy always lying in movies. So he's like, oh yeah, my lip there. Yeah, oh, yeah. what kind of uh, lipstick you got on there? Oh, that's new. She's like, I don't. He's like, oh yeah, that happened every time I uh, kiss somebody with Chanel. Oh yeah, give me gas too, here. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a case of anaphylactic shock. But you know, I was seeing a movie. It was because he was taking a formula to get him that way, but the formula was wearing off. Exactly. But that was an anaphylactic shock. Yeah, so it could be many different things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Besides the B. Oh, the EpiPen. I like Black that. Have it. That's like they carry that with them 24 7. Yes. In case, that is like a tool that saves them from. Yes, it is. I, yo, great point because the EpiPen is another case of. It's, it's it, it derived from each other. It's called anaphylactic shock, but that's when a person has anaphylactic, anaphylax, anaphylax with an X at the end. And what that means, people have that same thing. Their their airway narrows, their breathing, it, it slow, it, it kind of closes them up with it messes all that up, which is a serious complication for them and can cause death. And they have them called that EpiPen. Um, people could get an anaphylactic shock from a simple, not only from a B, as mommy said, it could be as simple as this may sound, peanut butter, mm -hmm. peanuts. Oh, peanuts. Allergic reaction. Allergic reaction. Yeah. Also cause like yeah. severe. Yeah. How many times have we seen a movie where the, where the person go, I'm going to kill this person. They chop up little bits of peanuts and they put it in their drink or their food. And they, you know, they mm -hmm. eat the food. They're like. <laughs> no. That's an anaphylactic shock. And that yeah. EpiPen, which is expensive, the, the creator of that, he double, triple, quadruple that price. That EpiPen, what they use, and they got to. They got to stick it in them real quick, and that, that brings them back to normal. But they still need to get um, attention, medical attention, but that helps them out. That EpiPen is crucial. I like that you brought that up because that yeah. that messes with anaphylactic, anaphylax, which is an anaphylactic shock. Mm -hmm. Not just from bees, peanut butter, a, a number of things can give you that. But you know what's so strange? I've heard about certain <coughs> people who actually didn't grow up to be allergic to anything. Mm -hmm. But when I when they older, they have allergic reactions to a lot of things yeah true. and they would have never know and it's sad that it would have caused an, uh, an a side effect of anything true indeed. you mentioned another one you said uh apocalypse oh, yeah, oh. that's one of my favorite yeah. movies oh yes yes, yes. yes. Well, the um the village that was trying to kill um jaguar paul you know he had finally like stood up to him so he wrapped a beehive that's right yeah yeah and mm -hmm. he threw it in the group and like it had to be like maybe one or two like really severely died from it because like they they're, they're in the inside of them was closing in the narrows and stuff like the airways the breeze, yeah. yeah the airways was like it stung in. a bunch of them but only like one or one two or actually two. died and you saw them like suffocating and wheezing <laughs> and then they died yeah mm -hmm. that's a good point you're right because you know it's like it may not affect this one or that one but it got somebody mm -hmm. somebody had allergic reaction that's a good another movie with it dealt with a, a bee sting that caused an anaphylactic shock. Oh, it was even in the movie that it was an anaphylactic shock because he put that poison from the frog. He saw the guy was choking. Remember he... he what, in Apocalypse? In Apocalypse, remember he was... Oh, no, that was poison. I know, but still, like, his, his insides were yeah, closing in, but really I know it's not really anaphylactic, but yeah. still, like, his insides was, like, really closing in and then he died. Yeah. That was crazy, too. Yeah, so, we ain't gonna make it too long, so subscribe, share, like, and comment. Uh, I hope you appreciate this video. And anaphylactic shock, remember, it's not just from bee stings, a number of things. It could be certain type of foods. Mm -hmm. It could be a bee sting. It could be peanut butter. Certain things that people are allergic to can cause anaphylactic shock. And the EpiPen is another thing that helps people out with that. Save some, somebody's life. Yeah, some people got carried with them all the time. I hope you appreciate my story. Uh, don't be mad at me about laughing at my friend Lee, man. Me and that dude was real tight. We crack jokes with each other all the time. But when I seen his ear, I never seen nothing like that in my life. I ain't lying. His ear was like the size of his head. I was like, how the heck? That's crazy, but that was an yeah. allergic reaction he had. Yeah, but you know, also we're, we're interested in, in people to talk to us. Yes. Give us an opinion or give us a comment about what you're allergic to. Yeah, true. Hey, what is this? Maybe give us your story. Us. Yeah, give Tell us a piece of Tell us what happened to you that you had an allergic reaction to. It exactly. rather was food, an uh, insect, a bug, some type of uh, nuts or whatever it is. You know. And on that note, we'll let y'all go. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace.